So we're going to talk about our three um, timing marks off of our big knotter drive chain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up these punch marks right here down here with these three punch marks. So we'll just go ahead and roll the baler a little bit. Okay, when these three are lined up, then you'll come over here to our, this is our stuffer drive sprocket right here. You can see the three punch marks right in here and the three punch marks right here, that those three are, are all lined up. And then we'll go up on top here to the knotter. And on the knotter here, there's this access hole. We'll move this shield out of the road. And then right down in here, you can see these three punch marks and that we line them up with here. You can see they're not quite exactly lined up, but that's close enough. If your baler looks like this, then you're, you're in time. If for some reason this, this sprocket is off, then you'd go down below, loosen up the chain, and you would jump the chain either forward or backwards to get the timing that you need.